In our last program, at the celebration of the unveiling of the first steam engine, a seer enters hidden behind a veil of magic. Having the power of prophecy, but not the power to change what she sees, she seeks one who is kind of heart, strong of spirit, and of sound mind with whom to share the prophecy of the doomed planet. She chooses a young girl, Sansa, who must decide what to do with this information. Overwhelmed, she tries to get her friends to listen, but they just don't understand. So the seer gives her the key to the future, but Sansa must find the timekeepers and convince them to help her. After careful deliberation, the timekeepers agree to let Sansa travel to the future. But the future is dark, and its people are rough. The air is unbreathable, and corrupt scientists rule, yet the people have no hope of survival without them. The scientists steal the time machine, leaving Sansa marooned and alone in this dark place. Her only hope is a small girl, Fiametta, the leader of the oppressed people. After much effort, she convinces Fiametta to help her get the time machine back. After defeating the evil scientists, Fiametta decides to join Sansa on her journey to save the Earth. They travel back to the past and arrive to discover the world Sansa has left already moved on. The scientists have begun to take over and are going mad with power. Sansa and Fiametta must move quickly to convince them to use their power for good. They share the proof they fathered from the future and the scientists immediately and frantically get to work. They decide to build clean energy robots that will help reverse the damage they have already caused. The timekeepers allow the girls to travel farther into the future to find out if their efforts have paid off. It is cold. The air is clean and the landscape stark. Cyborgs have become responsible guardians of the planet, but it's a different world than Sansa was trying to protect. She is distraught while Fiamenta has found her paradise. The seer arrives to congratulate Sansa, but finds her despondent. Fed up, Fiamenta pulls Sansa to her feet and forces her to see the good. A new prophecy emerges through the crystal ball, and the seer allows them to look into the future. Sansa has returned home and is celebrating by hosting a Christmas ball. She and her little sister eagerly await their friends but it is an unknown soldier who captures everyone's attention.